Hey Gemini, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana and these are your deep thoughts for the next six weeks. The end of May all the way through June. So six weeks, give or take, depending upon you and your situation. But this is what the cards say are going to unfold, should everybody stay on the same track that they're on right now, um, within the next six weeks for you. This is a general reading for the sign of Gemini. A general reading is not a replacement for a personal reading. If there's anything that you see in this reading that resonates with you, that you need confirmation, clarification, understanding, or just some more information, we can tailor these cards to be your specific reading. Not these cards. We can tailor these cards to be your specific reading, and it will give you information about you and your situation. So again, this is a general reading for the sign of Gemini. If it resonates, awesome. If it doesn't resonate, it just wasn't your turn, my friend. But that doesn't mean you still can't get a personal reading. As always, if you are a subscriber to my YouTube channel, and I want to reiterate that if you are a subscriber to my YouTube channel, you can click the link in the box below and get half price readings all day, every day. My readings for regular old folks are a hundred bucks and for my, my YouTube subscribers, they are $50. It is worth its weight in gold for the peace of mind. All right, let's get started. Mm -hmm. You open this reading with strength, right? <clears throat> Just needing strength. Because you're trying to plan for your future. Trying really hard to plan for your future. You know, this guy's job, the Knight of Pentacles, all the knights, princes, are action cards, right? But this guy, being earth energy, is a little bit slower in his actions than, say, air energy or fire energy, right? Um, even water energy for that matter. This guy's just slow and easy. His job is to survey the kingdom, to walk the perimeter, to make sure things are growing, people are working, all the resources and needs are met, right? He surveys the landscape, he makes a list, and he takes it back to his little Knight of Pentacles office and he implements it. And that's what you're doing right here. So you're pulling on some inner strength to be able to plan for your future. The reason you need strength is because the moon card says there's a lot of confusion and anxiety, right? Maybe some things that are unknown to you as well, but there's a lot of fear and anxiety as witnessed by the Eight of Swords right here. This Eight of Swords is about being so caught up in your head, overthinking everything that you are literally immobilized to do anything about this situation, right? And the Four of Cups just comes on top of that and says contemplation and reevaluation. So something very serious is going on in your life right here, Gemini, and you are really, really up in your head about which direction it is that you need to go. What this tells me, this King of Wands right here tells me that what you are contemplating, what you are very wrapped up in your head about, what you have a lot of anxiety and fear about is your personal success with the King of Wands. It's your personal success. That is what you're all tore up in your head about. Again, the Four of Cups twice, contemplating and reevaluating everything. Now, it could be a King of Wands character that you're all caught up in your head about, but I really feel intuitively that you're really caught up in your head about some huge decision that you need to make that is going to secure your personal success some way, somehow. So down here, we have some action-orientated communication that needs to happen, is going to happen, right? This action-orientated communication results in a decision, a definitive black and white decision that changes the trajectory of your life. Yesterday I was this way, today I am this way. That kind of a serious decision. So there's some communication that is either going to be spoken to you or spoken by you that creates a very serious decision in your life. The Seven of Wands comes in and says that this is a challenge. This decision right here is a challenge for you to make. Somehow you feel just overwhelmed and, and, and as represented by the Eight of Swords and the contemplation in the moon, you're overwhelmed and you just can't seem 
to move forward with this decision, right? You know what you want to do, but something is holding you back and it's keeping you caught up in your head. It's a challenge to move forward and take action with the chariot. It's a challenge to move forward and take action. So what is this challenge about? Something to do with home, nostalgia, reuniting, reconciling, memories, um, children, family, okay? So this whole decision-making process right here that you're really caught up in your head about, that you can't seem to make any forward movement about is centered and rooted right here in the center of your reading about the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is all about reunion, nostalgia, childhood, memories, innocence, right? It's also about being stuck in the past. So this is the root, the anchor of this whole problem right here. Something to do with home, family, children, reuniting, reconciling, something with that, right? Because what you're trying to do is create the Ace of Pentacles. What you're trying to do is manifest a new prosperous opportunity in your life. Could be financial, could be otherwise, but nevertheless, a new prosperous financial opportunity in your life. The Seven of Swords comes in. And, you know, the Seven of Swords, it's about betrayal, deception, but it's also about keeping something on the down low and being a little bit shady about it. And I, 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 and this is, this is also covered by the Six of Cups. So we have Six of Cups, Seven of Swords, Six of Cups. What I'm feeling here is that you have a very big decision to make that you're not really telling anybody about, which makes you feel a little shady, but it's okay to keep things on the down low for a minute while you try to figure things out, right? You're trying to figure things out, but this decision that you're making, that you have to make, directly affects your home, your family, your children, or something about coming together with something from your past, okay? It definitely has to do with something that you're very familiar with. Trying to create a new prosperous opportunity in your life. What this is all about is that you need to make a, a regretful but necessary transition out of this Six of Cups, whatever this is for you. You need to make a transition and that's going to cause you, it's going to require you to leave someone or something out in the cold. That's where the contemplation and reevaluation, that's where the mental imprisonment and the fear and anxiety come from. It's also where the challenge moving forward comes from as well. So the challenge to make this decision regarding something to do with home, family, memories, nostalgia, or coming together with somebody from the past to create a brand new beginning in your life is going to require you to leave this Six of Cups situation and leave somebody out in the cold or something out in the cold. We have the devil energy that comes in. This, I do believe, is representing your an attachment in your life that is restricting you from being the best that you can be. This devil energy is directly related to all of this indecision right here. Something has you chained to an attachment that is restrictive in your life. And the Eight of Cups says that you need to walk away from it. Two of Cups tells me that this restrictive attachment that you need to walk away from in your life is all about either a unified love relationship or some kind of a partnership, right? Could be business, could be family, could be love. Well, wherever it fits for you, Gem, wherever it fits. But the restriction... The restrictive attachment that keeps you from, from moving forward and manifesting this Ace of Pentacles is this devil energy right here. This devil energy that you need to walk away from. Because look, 
death comes in and says, you must end it. You must end it. Five of Swords. This Five of Swords is all about conflict, tension, loss, defeat. But it's also about an increased focus on your goals. It's also about being open to change. And as you release this restrictive attachment that is keeping you stagnant in pursuit of this new, beautiful, prosperous beginning in your life, as you, as you become open to the fact that this is what you need to do, you need to put an end to this relationship or this partnership in order for you to achieve your goals as witnessed by the three of cups now this three of cups could be saying that you are involved in some kind of a third party relationship doesn't have to be love and romance it could be business it could be family work too much brownies right too many brownies could be anything right but this three of cups also says that in order for you to achieve celebration, community, and friendship with this Ace of Pentacles right here, again, second time, you have to make a regretful but necessary transition. You have to put an end to this Two of Cups relationship, this restrictive attachment that is keeping you from being all that you can be. You have to walk away from it. You have to put an end to it. You have to transition out of it. Nine of, nine of um, wands comes in and says you need to have courage, right? Don't be hesitant. Be persistent and have courage. To the five of wands, use your fear and the conflict to fuel an increased focus on your goals. And when you do that, when you cut your ties with this repressive situation, what lies ahead for you is the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. And it's not a coincidence that this Nine of Cups is underneath this Ace of Pentacles here. The manifestation of a prosperous new beginning in your life, financial or otherwise, will result in wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction in your life. Mm -hmm. But you have to transition. You have to leave somebody out in the cold. You have to loose yourself from the bindings of this devil energy. Walk away and put a death to this Two of Cups relationship. The Emperor. This emperor is all about the control, the authority, the structure, and the establishment of your life, which is what you're after with the Ace of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, teamwork and collaboration. Two of Pentacles, balance, prioritization, and stability in your life. The Four of Wands, four is the number of structure and stability. Um, this is, this, this four of wands is about celebration, harmony in your relationships, in your home, in your community. It's also about a transition, which is what you desperately need to do. Nine of pentacles, self-sufficiency and a culmination to the situation. Princess of wands, enthusiasm, exploration, discovery, a free spirit, just, just excited as hell to, to embark upon this brand new journey in your life. Temperance. This is the purpose for you at this particular time in your life. This is your purpose. This Ace of Pentacles, which is going to produce your wishes fulfilled, is your purpose. Despite the sadness, despite the conflict, despite the overwhelming emotions... When you pull the trigger to do what's right for you and loose yourself from that devil energy, put an ending to whatever this restrictive attachment is, things are going to start to unfold for you and the purpose for your life at this particular juncture is going to be revealed. 
justice. Where there was unfairness, there is now fairness. Where there was unaccountability, there is now accountability. Where there was dishonesty, there is now truth, cause and effect, and law. You will be justified going through the five of pentacles and the eight of cups and the death and and the 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 keeping things on the down low and feeling challenged there will be justice to all of those feelings when you work through all of this four of swords says there will be peace and rest eight of swords where you were wrapped up in your mind so hard that you couldn't even make a decision now is saying that you are breaking free. You are releasing all of the mental trauma and now you are open to new perspectives. And the Empress, you are about to create massive abundance in your life. Massive abundance in your life, Gemini. Massive abundance. That's the end result of all of this as we go from needing strength to the very last card. Abundance is what this Ace of Pentacles is going to bring for you. To the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction, and abundance. But you got to loose that devil energy. You have to unchain yourself from the footstool of a restrictive attachment. And it's going to take a minute, right? Let's start from the top, okay? If you want to cut off now, that's fine because that's the reading. But I'm just going to go over it one more time real quick because um, some people like that, right? So you start out needing strength because you're trying to plan for your future. However, there's a lot of anxiety and fear with the moon card, a lot of unknown with the moon card, a lot of mental imprisonment so locked down in the thinking process that you're, you're incapable of making a decision. To the four of cups, contemplation, thinking and contemplation, reevaluation about your personal success. Again, more contemplation and reevaluation. Knight of Swords, there is an action-oriented decision that you need to implement in your life. Reiterated by judgment, an absolute black and white decision. I was this way, now I'm this way. But you feel very, very challenged when it comes to taking action because there is something related to home, family, children, um, familiarity that you have to walk away from. You feel a little shady because you're keeping all of this on the down low right here, right? This is something that is that only you know right now. Only you know. And you're really worried about how it's going to affect everybody else in your life. Hence the Six of Cups, right? Really, really worried about how it's going to affect everybody in your life. What is this? It is the Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new prosperous opportunity, possibly a, fi a financial opportunity. This opportunity right here requires you to transition. It's a regretful but necessary transition. It's going to require you to leave somebody or something out in the cold. <coughs> Excuse me. Devil energy, restrictive attachments that are um, preventing your forward movement. Eight of Cups, you need to walk away from it and loose yourself from a Two of Cups relationship. Whether this is business, family, love, whatever. This is about united love, partnerships, attractions, and relationships. This is also about a breakup and an imbalance or a lack of harmony in your life. You need to loose yourself. You need to put an end to any kind of imbalanced relationship, any kind of lack of harmony in your life, any kind of relationship that is keeping you bound to the devil energy. Five of Swords, a lot of conflict, lots of conflict going on, lots of conflict. But this card is also about being open to change. 
to the Three of Cups, like I said before, could be some kind of third party situation that is requiring you to move on. Um, work, family, um, overindulgence in anything, right? But this Three of Cups is also about being open to change to create celebration and harmony and happiness in your life. Six of Swords again says you need to transition. You need to do this, Gemini. You need to. Nine of Wands. It's Nine of Wands is all about having courage and persistence and resilience, right? Don't hesitate. Take action and do what you need to do. Take the conflict that you feel up here and redirect it to be an increased focus on your goals. Because what's waiting for you in regards to this Ace of Pentacles, this manifestation of a brand new prosperous, maybe financial opportunity in your life is the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction that is going to directly affect the authority, structure, establishment, and control of your life. It's going to bring you teamwork and collaboration, balance, adaptability, and prioritization. It's going to bring you stability and foundation. It's going to bring you a sense of self-sufficiency and a culmination to what appears to be a very bad situation. Princess of Wands, you are going to have a renewed passion for life with this Ace of Pentacles right here. Temperance, this tells me that this is the purpose for your life at this particular juncture in time. Mm -hmm. Justice, it will all be justified. It will all work out okay. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction, it's all going to be okay. Four of Swords, rest, peace, recuperation. Eight of Swords, able to break free of the mental imprisonment that this whole thing has held you in for God knows how long. To the Empress, absolute abundance. Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new prosperous opportunity in your life. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction, and abundance. There you go, Gemini. If you need a deeper insight to this, we can pull cards just for you, just for your situation. 50 bucks. We'll hook it up with the link in the box below. Namaste, my friends.